This is gonna happen, huh? I don't miss. But to be honest, I don't think it was that hard of a prediction to make. Because all of us kind of knew, right? We had that feeling when we heard the report that Arthur Smith was interviewing with the Steelers to be their next offensive coordinator over the weekend. We all had that feeling that, yeah, the Steelers are going to go with him. Why? Because it just makes sense. He fits the Steeler way or the Steeler approach of doing things. Conservative, running the ball first, run heavy, heavy personnel. The pass game works off the play action. And what have we known about the Steelers offense over the last like two or three years? Like that is what we've been trying to accomplish. And it's just the traditional Steeler way. Like we like the ground and pound. Jerome Bettis, Franco Harris, Najee Harris, Jalen Warren, Le'Veon Bell, uh, Barry Foster. Like we like controlling the game through the ground, at least traditionally. There have been some outlier stretches of seasons, the Killer B era, where we are more airing it out. But Steeler football is also running the ball, and that's what Arthur Smith as an offensive play caller, does best. So with that being said, let's break down Arthur Smith's career thus far as a coach and go over his resume. So started his coaching career at his alma mater, North Carolina, University of North Carolina, in 2006 as a graduate assistant. Then made the jump to the NFL to be Washington's defensive quality control coach from 2007 to 2008. Went back to college to be Ole Miss's defensive intern slash administrative assistant in 2010. And then back to the NFL, where he worked his way up through the Titan system, starting as a quality control coach in 2011, then ended up coaching the offensive line, transitioned to being the tight ends coach, and after Matt LaFleur left to be the Packers head coach in 2019, Arthur Smith was promoted to be the Titans offensive coordinator. And after having success in that role for a couple seasons, he got hired by the Atlanta Falcons to be their head coach, finishing with a 7-10 and record. For each season, he was in Atlanta over the last three years. His two seasons in Tennessee as the offensive coordinator produced an offense that was, as I mentioned in the intro, very run-heavy, and rightfully so because they had Derrick Henry. In 2019, they were third in rushing yards, second in rushing touchdowns, 10th in points four, 12th in total yards, 21st in passing yards, but 8th in passing touchdowns. 2020 was a very similar story, second in rushing yards, second in rushing touchdowns, fourth in points four, second in total yards, 23rd in passing yards, but again, eighth in passing touchdowns. Smith's tenure in Atlanta was not as good. Many fans and media have complained about how the Falcons in their last several years on offense have not been able to get the ball to their playmakers like Kyle Pitts or Bajon Robinson. So outside of them being a top 5-10 to rushing team in 2022 and 2023, the Arthur Smith offenses in Atlanta have been generally subpar. My initial reaction is, this isn't a bad hire by any stretch. But I am still disappointed we didn't interview more candidates and do more due diligence through the process. Like bringing in a Cliff Kingsbury or a Clint Kubiak or Eric Biennemi. Just because, why not? At the same time, I get why we would want to close out this process sooner rather than later, because if we start doing more interviews with more guys, Arthur Smith, if we did like him, you know, we don't want to necessarily let him get away and be open to other OC jobs like that probably could have taken place. Like if we were to wait for a Clint Kubiak, Arthur Smith's like, all right, if you guys are going to drag your feet, let me go interview with the Saints. Let me go interview with the Buccaneers, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, It is the safer call, though. Like, I would have liked to see Kenny Pickett with one of these QB guru type of offensive coordinator or play callers under the McVay or Shanahan tree. But at the end of the day, whether it's Arthur Smith, whether it's, you know, a Kubiak, whoever, Kenny Pickett just needs to play better in 2024 and we can have success because Arthur Smith's offenses with the Tennessee Titans when he was exclusively an offensive coordinator were very successful. It is more throwback in terms of being run heavy, but they also did have Derrick Henry. We have Anaji Harris and Jalen Warren. So I could see why that connection would make sense. So whether it is with one of these more modern offenses with the motion and, you know, very scheme based or with an Arthur Smith, like Kenny Pickett just needs to play better. And Ryan Tannehill just so happened to have his two best seasons 
as an NFL quarterback under Arthur Smith with the Tennessee Titans. He had that whole career resurgence. And also, I mean, Derrick Henry's two best seasons also came under Arthur Smith. So who knows what that means for Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. It's going to be an uptick for sure, even though it will be probably similar to what we have seen these last two years. But the thing that's in our favor is Matt Canada is no longer calling the plays and we're not using Matt Canada's playbook, whereas we have a guy with legit NFL experience and legit success in the NFL being an offensive coordinator. So I will take that. That's why I go back to saying this isn't a bad hire at all. Uh, I'm not against it. But again, I just wish we would have just done more due diligence. We would have interviewed more candidates. But I also get the flip side of it. If you like Arthur Smith, you think it's a fit, just make the hire. So uh, that's where I'm at with it. Let me know your thoughts on this hire. Thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you expect the offense to look like with Smith at the helm? But that's it. Hope you guys enjoy this edition of Big Deep News on a Tuesday. Stay chillin' and peace.